Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays U187900? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does U187900 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. The add-on to the error code serves to specify the status in more detail. For example, a short to the ground. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number zero. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a GMC vehicles. Also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two beats again determine the second character. The last beat styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code U187900 interpret specifically GMC car manufacturers? The basic definition is 1-2 shift solenoid SS valve performance, no second or third gear. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. No input speed sensor ISS DTCs P0716 or P0717 No output speed sensor OS DTCs P0722 or P0723 No torque converter clutch TCC performance DTCs P0741 or P0742 No shift solenoid electrical DTCs P0973, P0974, P0976 or P0977 No internal mode switch IM MS DTCs P1820, P1822, P1823, P1825, P1826 or P1915 No torque converter clutch pulse width module TCC PWM DTCs P2763 or P2764 No torque converter clutch enable DTCs TCs P2769 or P2770 The engine runtime is greater than 5 seconds The transmission fluid temperature is 20 to 130 degrees Celsius 68 to 266 degrees Fahrenheit The throttle position is 8% or greater The input shaft speed is 50 rpm or greater The output shaft speed is 50 rpm or greater The engine torque is 50 nm 37 pound feet or greater This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. 
Both of the following conditions must occur twice during the same trip the TCM commands second gear and the resulting gear ratio is 301 to 331 for two seconds the TCM commands third gear and the resulting gear ratio is 0651-091 for two seconds no subtype information this subtype is used for failures where the base DTC text string provides the complete description of the failure itself no category and no subtype information information used, e.g. emissions related DTC 012700 hex P0127 intake air temperature too high. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.